for school. Today is the 16th of February and in mental maths today, like yesterday, we are going to be looking at negative numbers on a number line. So, draw now, I've got a number line um, from negative 10, which goes all the way forward to zero and then all the way up to 10. On your sheet to help you, there is a number line that goes from minus 10 to 10 and there's also one that goes from minus 50 to 50. So you've got lots here to work from when you are carrying out the mild, medium and hot questions on the other side, okay? So I thought I'll take you through a couple of examples just now of how I use the number line and hopefully it'll be able to help you when you're doing it as well. So. The first one on the mild column is minus six, add eight, okay? So what I would do if I've got the number line in front of me is I'm going to circle minus six, okay? Minus six, and I'm going to be adding on eight, okay? So very easy, you can either do it individual loops and count forward, so for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus six plus eight takes me to two. Okay, my answer is two and I can circle that and add it in to my answer, good. All right, so you can easily jump on in ones, okay, which is, represents, is represented by the red hoops like that. That's me jumping forward in ones, okay? Another way to do it or another strategy is if you've got minus six, okay, you know that you need to add on six more to get to zero. Just like if you had minus four, you would need to add on four more to get to zero. Or if you had minus seven, you'd need to add on seven more to get to zero. So I like to go back to zero because that's like the base. It's almost like a number bond that I know very well. So, minus six, you know that adding on six will get you to zero, so that's a big jump that you can do there. Add six gets me to zero, but remember the initial question didn't say add six, it said add eight. Therefore, I'm going to add on two more, because you know six add two makes eight, so minus six, add eight, gives me the same answer, two. I quite like to, it's called bridging, I like to bridge through zero, it makes it a wee bit easier for me. So represented in the blue marker is when I'm bridging through zero and represented in the red hoops is when I'm adding on one at a time. Okay, let me try it with another um, question and see how I get on. So the next one is minus two, so I'm going to circle minus two here and it says minus two add ten, okay, so I'm going to do my hoops. So I'll do them above here. So let's try starting on minus 2, adding on 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I land on the number 8. Okay, so that's adding on 1s. I land on the number 8. So I'm going to record that. Let's try it using my bridging technique. So if I go to minus 2, I know that if I add on 2, that will take me back to 0. So if you want, I'm just going to rub out what I've done before so that you're not getting confused by the other numbers that are highlighted. So if I rub out this blue bit and show you. Okay, so I'm starting on minus 2. I know that to get back to 0, I need to add on 2. Minus 2, add 2 takes me back to my 0. But I don't want to just add 2, I want to add 10. So I've added 2 already, that means I need to add 8 more because 8 add 2 gives me 10. 0 add 8 gives me 8. So it's the same way, it's the same answer but a different way of doing it, okay? Let's try it, well the next one is slightly harder because you come off the number line because if you're doing, for example, minus 12 add 20, you would be using your minus 50 to 50 number line. But I can show you how to do it or how I would do it mentally in my head because some of you might manage that as well. Okay, so minus 12 add 20. 
Well, I need to add on 12. So if I've got minus 12 here, for example, I can add on 12 to get me back to zero. So if I add 12, that takes me to zero. But I don't only want to add 12, I want to add 20. So if I've already added 12, how many more do I need? I need to add eight more to be adding 20. So add on eight to zero, and my answer is eight, eight units. So minus 12 at 20 gives me eight. Let's try it for this one down here. Minus eight add 23. Well, minus eight, how many will I need to add to get me to zero? Well, minus eight add eight gives me zero, so I'll add on eight, and that takes me to the zero. But I don't only want to add eight, I want to add 23. So, perhaps I could add on another 10, or what's the difference between 23 and eight? So let me just think, 23, take away eight, gives me 15. So I could do zero, add 15, okay? And my answer is, well, 0 add 15, easy peasy, my answer is 15. Okay, so I, I personally prefer to go to the 0 and then build on from that. But some of you might prefer just to add in ones on your number line. Either or is good. Um, and hopefully you get on with that okay. Alright, so I have given you a little bit of advice and said that if you are in the, the mild column, you just work with the minus 10 to positive 10 number line. If you're in the medium column, you just need a minus 20 to positive 20 number line. And if you're in the hot column, you need to go to the minus 50 to positive 50 number line. Okay, good luck. Thanks.